emphasize the importance of surrounding oneself with individuals who uplift and inspire, whose presence aligns with our pursuit of excellence. In today's discourse, we shall embark on a comprehensive journey through the realm of human interactions, examining the various archetypes that can either fortify or undermine our stoic endeavors. Type of people to avoid, Baumann 8. The Energy Vampire. Imagine embarking on a journey towards self-improvement, armed with the noble ideals of Stoicism, guiding your path. Yet, as you progress, you encounter individuals who seem to drain the very vitality from your being, the energy vampires. These are the individuals whose presence leaves you feeling depleted, as if your inner reservoir of strength and positivity has been sapped dry. Energy vampires come in various guises, the chronic complainer who infects every interaction with negativity, the perpetual pessimist who sees the worst in every situation, or the narcissistic individual who monopolizes conversations with tales of their own grandeur. Regardless of their form, their impact on our mental and emotional well-being cannot be understated. Stoicism teaches us to guard our inner citadel diligently, to preserve our mental fortitude in the face of adversity. Yet, when confronted with energy vampires, our defenses are often breached, leaving us vulnerable to their draining influence. How, then, can we shield ourselves from their grasp? One strategy is to establish firm boundaries, delineating the extent to which we engage with such individuals. Limiting the duration and frequency of interactions can help mitigate their draining effect, preserving our energy reserves for endeavors aligned with our stoic pursuits. Additionally, cultivating awareness of our own emotional state enables us to recognize when our vitality is being compromised empowering us to disengage when necessary. Type of people to avoid them are nine, the fair-weather friend. In our journey through life, we encounter individuals who profess friendship and camaraderie during times of prosperity, but are conspicuously absent when adversity strikes, the fair-weather friends. These individuals revel in the joys of companionship when times are good, but are nowhere to be found when the winds of misfortune blow. The fair-weather friend embodies the antithesis of stoic virtue, for true friendship is forged in the crucible of adversity, tested and tempered by the trials of life. Yet when faced with challenges, these individuals are nowhere to be found, abandoning us in our hour of need. Navigating relationships with fair-weather friends requires discernment and introspection. Stoicism, encourages us to cultivate friendships based on mutual respect, reciprocity, and a shared commitment to virtue. By aligning ourselves with individuals who embody these qualities, we fortify our social support network, bolstering our resilience in the face of life's challenges. Furthermore, Stoic philosophy emphasizes the importance of self-reliance and inner strength. While companionship is undoubtedly enriching, our ultimate source of solace and support resides within ourselves. By cultivating a robust inner citadel, fortified by the principles of Stoicism, we diminish our reliance on external validation and companionship, finding solace in the tranquility of our own company. Type of People to Avoid Camera 10. The Opportunist In the arena of human interactions, we encounter individuals who view relationships through the lens of utility, exploiting them for personal gain. The opportunists. These individuals are adept at identifying and capitalizing on opportunities for advancement, often at the expense of others' well-being. The opportunist embodies the antithesis of stoic virtue, for true virtue is grounded in integrity, honesty, and a genuine concern for the welfare of others. Yet, the opportunist eschews these principles, prioritizing self-interest above all else, regardless of the consequences for those around them. Navigating relationships with opportunists requires vigilance and discernment. Stoicism teaches us to cultivate a keen sense of awareness and enabling use to recognize when our trust and goodwill are being exploited. By remaining steadfast in our commitment to virtue, we immunize ourselves against the machinations of the opportunist, safeguarding our integrity and moral compass. Furthermore, Stoic philosophy emphasizes the importance of detachment from external outcomes focusing instead on cultivating inner tranquility and equanimity. 
While the actions of opportunists may disrupt our external circumstances, they cannot diminish the inner peace that arises from living in accordance with Stoic principles. Type of people to avoid, number 11, the egotist. In the tapestry of human interactions, we encounter individuals whose sense of self-importance knows no bounds, the egotists. These individuals are consumed by vanity, preoccupied with their own desires, and oblivious to the needs and concerns of others. The egotist embodies the antithesis of stoic virtue, for true virtue is grounded in humility, modesty, and a recognition of our interconnectedness with all living beings. Yet, the egotist eschews these principles, elevating their own ego above the common good, and seeking validation through external acclaim and adulation. Navigating relationships with egotists requires patience and compassion. Stoicism teaches us to cultivate empathy and understanding, recognizing that the egotist's behavior stems from a profound sense of insecurity and inadequacy. By approaching them with kindness and compassion, we may awaken them to the folly of their ways, guiding them towards a path of humility and self awareness. Furthermore, Stoic philosophy emphasizes the importance of detachment from external validation finding solace instead in the pursuit of virtue and inner tranquility. While the egotist may crave admiration and acclaim, the Stoic finds fulfillment in the quiet satisfaction of living a life aligned with their principles. Type of People to Avoid Dubarna 12 The Gossip In the landscape of human interactions, we encounter individuals who delight in spreading rumors and innuendo, the gossips. These individuals thrive on the misfortune of others, deriving pleasure from the dissemination of salacious tidbits and juicy gossip. The gossip embodies the antithesis of stoic virtue, for true virtue is grounded in integrity, honesty, and a respect for the privacy and dignity of others. Yet, the gossip eschews these principles, reveling in the chaos and discord sown by their malicious whispers and backstabbing. Navigating relationships with gossips requires discretion and discernment. Stoicism teaches us to cultivate a keen sense of awareness, enabling us to recognize when our trust and confidence are being betrayed. By guarding our words and actions we diminish the gossips' power, depriving them of the fuel they need to sustain their nefarious activities. Furthermore, Stoic philosophy emphasizes the importance of focusing on that which is within our control relinquishing attachment to external outcomes beyond our influence. While the gossip may seek to sow discord and division, the Stoic remains steadfast in their commitment to virtue, finding solace in the knowledge that their integrity remains unblemished. In conclusion, as we navigate the labyrinthine complexities of human interactions, let us remain vigilant in our pursuit of Stoic virtue. By identifying and avoiding individuals whose actions undermine our progress, we fortify our inner citadel, safeguarding our tranquility and equanimity 